Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This little guy's Popeye, or the RC Sailors, and we're at the airfield today with another plane. And I hope that this is an ongoing process now. We owe you guys more planes. This thing is beautiful. I'm gonna let Popeye down so he can just run and play. It's called the Avios or Avios Bush Mule. It's probably the most versatile, well-rounded plane that I have ever seen. It can do a lot. So let's take a closer look at what comes with the plane, some features that it offers, and then we're gonna have a lot of fun flying this for you. The first thing you're gonna notice is just the attention to detail and how realistic this plane looks. It's also huge. This is a full-size picnic table that it's sitting on. It comes in at 59 inches on that wingspan from wing tip to wing tip. That's almost five feet long. That's a huge plane. Not only is it a wide wingspan, but you notice the width of the fuselage here too. And that is because it is able to carry quite a bit inside. This is designed to be a cargo plane. We actually have a cargo bay door on the back underneath, kind of like a military style plane. When you see all those paratroopers jumping out, that's exactly what we're gonna do today in this video. We brought paratroopers with us. We're gonna have some fun dropping those. Now that's not all it offers. This plane comes equipped with flaps, ailerons, elevator, rudder, throttle, with the two motors here, and we have lights. The motors are 850 kV brushless outrunner motors each. This one spins counterclockwise. This one spins clockwise, looking face to the plane like that. And uh, it's got a lot of power, guys. I've flown my friend's plane. He has the same one Dan has, the Bush Mule. I've flown his quite a few times before flying my own here. And it has the ability to fly vertical. It can just climb straight up. A plane like this doesn't look like it should be able to, but it does, and it, it does it very easily. So I know that we're gonna be able to haul some heavier payloads if we want to. Each motor is equipped with a 30 amp ESC, so that's two on board, and all these things are pre-installed, including the servos. Everything from the rudder to the steerable wheel on the front, the bay door on the back, everything is pre-installed. The only thing you really have to do is install the main landing gear, the wing struts, the ends of the wings, and that's as simple as plugging things in and then putting a Phillips screw into that to hold it in place. It was very easy to do. My dad and I, and most of the credit goes to dad, worked on this together for a couple hours before getting to fly it. And we've already flown it this morning to do a couple test flights, and it was just a blast. I can't wait to show you guys this in the air. I mentioned the lights to you. There's one little blinking red light on the top. We also have, I call them maybe like taxi lights or something. They're white on the front. I don't know if they'd actually be a taxi light. Uh, and then red and green on the wing tips for orientation. During the bright day, it's hard to see them, but I think in this late evening, we might actually be able to see them. Uh, now this little bit that I pulled off here is held on with earth magnets, and it comes with an optional flat piece for a GoPro or an FPV system. It even has a slot cut already in it in case you need to run wiring down inside for an FPV system. Maybe you wanna put up a little steerable camera system so you can look around while you're flying. It also comes with optional skis for the snow. Those come with it at no extra cost. And you can buy additionally water pontoons. So talk about versatile. This plane can really just get around all year round no matter where you are. Now it is highly recommended that you get a good size battery for this because you're gonna need it. You notice when I pull the battery out, the plane likes to tip back. That's because you need that way up front for a good CG, a good balance. What's recommended by uh, Avios or Avios, however you might say it, is uh, at least a four cell 3000 milliamp LiPo with an XT60 end, and I do highly recommend that too. It worked really well, and it gave us a good maybe like eight or nine minute flight time with really pushing some maneuvers. Popeye's excited to chase this. It does come with a Velcro strap pre-installed, but I recommend adding a bit of Velcro down here so you don't get any sliding forward and back. Put a little soft piece on the bottom of your battery, and then the CG is pretty well snug up against the nose. You just don't want your battery to get in the way of your steering linkage in the front. This setup, requires, I think, seven channels. Four for your standard plane. These actually I've, I've Y harnessed off into one for my throttle, uh, the motors, and then we have a fifth for flaps, a sixth channel for lights, to have power to the lights at least, or on and off, 
and a seventh channel for a bay door. And uh, I, <laughs> I've flown planes with flaps. I've flown Dan's bush mule with flaps. But I don't have very many planes with lights. So I wanted to have lights over flaps. I've test flown this at this field without flaps and I think we'll do just fine. So my personal choice was to add lights and not flaps, but they're in there. All I have to do is switch a servo uh, wire out of my receiver and I've got flaps if I want them. One last thing I'll mention before we fly this, the wing does come apart very easily. It comes in three pieces basically. You notice this seam here and this seam here. It's, this side is held on with two screws, this side's held on with two screws. So you take those out. I can't remember if they're two on the bottom, let me check. No. And the wing struts, believe it or not, are held on with like an RC truck body clip or body pin. It's got one up here and one down here. It's a very tight fit, but you just kind of wiggle that off. You take your body pin off and then you wiggle the wing strut off. Uh, so the main wing comes apart very easily. You can take it just about anywhere. In all of the footage that you're about to see, uh, I'll be the one flying when I'm talking and stuff, but when you see chase drone footage, that will be Abby flying the bush mule and uh, me flying the race drone, which is just so much fun. And I, I just want to point out, this really shouldn't be your first plane. I don't think this should be anybody's first plane ever. It's really not a great beginner plane. Don't get me wrong, it flies really well. I can vouch for that but uh, maybe you wanna get a beginner friendly plane and then step into this. The only time I would recommend this be your first plane is if for some reason you just love this and, and it's the only plane you ever wanna own, it's the first and last plane you're ever gonna buy and you just wanna put it on display and maybe only buddy box it with somebody one time to say you've flown it. Other than that, you really should have a little bit of experience before you take this in the skies because it's about $240, $250 uh, and you need a receiver, a battery, a transmitter to, to get it in the air. And there's no flight stabilization. No flight stabilization. It's just have fun. So let's put this in the air uh, and have some fun with it. I can't wait to show you guys. If you're interested, we'll have a link in the description box below. Here we go. And there's Popeye. There's Buddy. I had to hold him and crouch for that takeoff, <laughs> so I didn't want him to get close to it. All right, it's in the air and it's flying. That's me center stick at about half throttle, maybe 45%. I'll just do the same coming around this way. We've got some shadows actually flying this low from trees because it's late in the evening. Um, I could actually use a tiny bit of down trim elevator. It's climbing a lot. Earlier today when I flew this, it was very windy. It's way better. Oh, this is- Condition is now just, perfect. Abby was a little worried about flying this. I am so worried. <laughs> she hasn't flown it yet. And I just want to show you guys, that's, I'm completely hands-free. Abby, look how easy that's flying. I see that. Okay, so but you have nothing to worry about. Somehow, I just, somehow I managed to not fly very well. <laughs> All right. I've got paratroopers in here, so before I do any moves, maneuvers, I would like to try and drop them. So I'm gonna just fly You probably slower. need to go like straight up too when you open I the will. box. Yep, here we go. Oh, I don't do this very often, so. Works. Are you high enough? Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't want them to fly too far. Well, maybe not. I'll go around yeah, one more time. The parachutes you're right. have to open. So you're I right, you you're right. High. I'll go higher, okay. Guys, this plane flies really well, and it should. Um, you know, the other only other Avios plane I've ever owned is a Zazzy, and it's one of my favorite planes ever, 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 ever. Just fun to fly. If you want something that's different, and you want to show off to all the other guys at the airfield, this is going to turn heads, just for the simple fact that it has two motors. You fly up and then you drop parachute guys out of it and everyone's gonna love it. And count down. A little down. bit of wind. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh yeah, there they go, ah! nice. I don't, I'm following the parachutes. In. Follow the parachutes, that's okay. <laughs> Follow them. That's so I'll try funny. to come back to them. I put three in and three came out. Nice. Yep, that was great. Look at them go. They did, they're new parachutes, oh so they're not <laughs> opening up very well. Yeah. 
but they're they're working. Popeye, retrieve the See, parachute. I'm flying up behind them. Oh no, so close to us that too. Cool. I'm like over the shed. Coming okay. In low. Coming in low. <laughs> I got you. That was fun. I'm gonna drop the door just so you guys can see it as I fly by. Three, two, one. Boom. See that in the back? You see that? Mm -hmm. And back up. It flips really fast. It is snappy. Yeah. Which you kind of want. You want to get out of the way so everyone can jump out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Yeah, I can see it better and that three, time. Three, two, one. Back up. Very cool. All right, let's show you what this plane is made of. It's not just able to drop stuff, so let's climb. Three, two, one. Wow. I told you it could climb straight up. That wasn't a very good maneuver on my part, but look at it. We're still climbing, still climbing, and we'll just come back down. It's a, it's a rocket, if you want it to be. And actually, that's my LiPo alarm because I pushed it so hard. <laughs> Let's do a few more maneuvers. We'll do a nice clean loop, hopefully. Yeah, okay. And let's throw a roll at it. Yep. And I, it can do inverted. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's how you do it, uh-huh. We can do inverted. Just kick it over. Just need a lot of up elevator when you're flying inverted, like a lot. And a little extra throttle. It's not really made to fly inverted. As we can see there, it wanted to flip back over. Shoo. Yeah. It it's struggles. a heavy plane. It's a heavy plane. It struggles to fly inverted, but it can be done. I didn't do a very good presentation of it there, but look at that beautiful plane. What, do you have two flights on this now, or one? Well, I've flown Dan's a few times, but and I've flown plane. mine. This is like the third time now. Okay. It just looks awesome. It sounds good. Let me shut up a minute and I'll fly close so you can hear the motors. Oh yeah, sounds great. I don't really have anything with two motors. We can do some fun stuff too. We don't have to just do loops and rolls. We can, my LiPo alarm. Now the battery that I'm using is kind of a cheaper battery. It's, so that alarm's gonna go off pretty early. This <clears> does not come with a battery. That's right. Really just fun to fly. I want more paratroopers. <laughs> yeah, I know. If only you could reload midair. That would be cool. It's a lot of imagination with this plane. Yeah, it just looks great. I, I just saw those lights coming in. And uh, I don't want to push that battery too hard. It is a newer battery, that alarm. I have it set at 3.6 per cell. It just looks really good. If you like this realistic style of plane, I mean, you probably hate how I'm flying it because I'm not flying it very scale. <laughs> how would you fly it scale? Just uh, a like circle? this. Uh huh. Yeah, just a circle. Uh, turn left, turn right, but not even that sharp. These birds are like attacking your plane. It looks like <laughs> on my camera. They keep flying in front of it. Nah. Popeye. Just straight up if you want it to. Popeye's just standing by your feet waiting for you to land. He's ready for it. <laughs> We'll reload the paratroopers and that's when you'll fly, Abby. Oh gosh. Yeah. yeah it it so flies again. so well. The chase footage that you're seeing in this video. Yeah, that's, that's that's me flying the plane. Nate is doing the drone camera work. Yeah. He's really good at chasing planes. I'm I'm always really impressed. Well, you're just being nice to me because it's my birthday. No, I am always impressed. So I swing it wide and I come in. It just needs a little bit of space to slow down without flaps. We're gonna be a little darker here, Abby, for the camera's sake. I'm at zero. I need to actually give it some throttle. Popeye's cool, he's cool. Oh, little bounce. Sorry about that. Oh, man. Yeah, you gotta little do bounce. that again. All right, we'll do one more <laughs> for you guys. One more. I've had some smooth landings. That wasn't very impressive. 
And Popeye wasn't even interested in that landing. Uh -huh. Here we go, <laughs> one loop. Then we'll give you a good landing. Watch, the battery's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, should I be quiet and focus and really give you a good smooth landing? I wanna see a smooth landing. Alright, I think you're okay. Because this, this has those big wheels like on the Tundra, so it's fully capable of doing this. I just didn't slow it down enough, did I? No, that's okay. That's what flaps are for. There I know that's that what was, everybody's that thinking. Better. That was Did really good. Oh, yeah, that was good. Right. I knew I knew everybody was thinking that's what flaps are for, Nathan. <laughs> that's right. I love the yellow tips on the props. They look good. It all looks good. It looks great. There you have it. The Avios Bush Mule. I've had it for a little while now. Dan knows that. Some of my friends know that. And I've just been waiting to put it together, waiting for a good opportunity. Uh, it's just been hard to find the time to put a plane in the air. And, and really do it justice. I don't like to just throw this in the air and have no knowledge of how it flies or anything. This is a great plane. If you're looking for something different that's also very versatile, then this is perfect for you. It's bind and fly, it can go right to whatever transmitter you have. Six channels will work just fine even though you can go up to seven if you wanna have everything included. I think Dan might have wide something together. I know he has flaps, the bay door, he might have turned his lights off. I can't remember, but I think I think he had his lights off. You can kind of see them right now. Yeah, they're starting to show up a bit better. In the late evening, this would look great. A again, this is just a head turner. It's gonna be something that you just pick up to be different, but it's not just different. This is my little LiPo alarm, by the way. I'm holding that. Uh, it's, it's good, it's great. Um, if you're the type of person that only likes to fly an extra 300 or some stunt plane like a Yak, uh, this you might not like this, uh, but it's just very versatile, very well-rounded, and as I said, just different. Sometimes that's amazing, and when it works well, that's even more amazing. We'll have a link in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself. I give it two giant thumbs up for everything that it is, and not for things that it's not. Just outstanding. They did a great job. I'm a huge fan of this Avios company, and. I think they discontinued the Zazzy, and I'm very upset by that. So if you're watching this, you made a huge mistake. Because I guarantee when I crashed mine, I'd have bought another. I love the Zazzy. Dan crashed his and he bought another. Yes. <laughs> it's an amazing plane. I love it. I'm sure he appreciates us telling the world that he crashed his Zazzy. That's okay. It's okay. He'll, he'll forgive me, I think. Guys, great plane. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.